Love overboard, love overboard, I don't know what to do. Love overboard, love overboard, so in love with you. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. It is To Be Tuesday. That's right, To Be Tuesday, when I review a movie that comes on this crazy ass To Be app. You know, that's my guilty pleasure, these To Be movies. You know, I'll be doing the He's for the Streets, Stepmother 1, 2, and 3, Killing the Game. You know, I like them all. And listen, they're not always the best written or the best acted, but they're very entertaining. A lot of them can be very entertaining and get a good laugh. I've been doing, I did some of the hood ones, but now we're going into more of a thriller territory right now. So today's Tubi movie of choice is Below Deck Deceit. That's why I was singing Love Over Boat. <laughs> I was trying to find a song with... <laughs> Oh, I could have said, rock the boat, rock the boat. <laughs> Anything with a boat on it. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> Below Deck Deceit, which is about a pop star who goes missing while she's on a yacht. But before I get into that, I got to give a shout out to my lovely subscribers. Thank you for watching and keeping this channel going and growing. And y'all watch these 2B movies with me on 2B Tuesday. Lamont Simpson, uh, Kryptonian Black. Randall Brown, Quiet Guy, and all the rest of you wonderful people that say you enjoy these 2B Tuesdays. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's, we got that out the way. Let's get this, um, let's get right to this, but let's keep this channel going and growing. So bam, hit that subscribe button. It's over there, over there somewhere. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the comment button, engage with a brother. Now let's get down to this story. This is about a pop star, Sadie. She's a big pop star, like most pop stars. She's troubled. She's got an entourage with her. Some of them mean her some well. Some some of them mean her well. Some of them do not. Okay. Um, so let's get the cast of character. There's Sadie, the, the pop star. There's her manager, who's also a stage mom. That's Cara. There's Bill, the bodyguard. There's Camille, the lawyer, there's Robbie and Chris. I believe they're actors or pop stars themselves. And Chris is actually the son of uh, Cara. So anyway, they show us them at a club having a good time. And then poor superstar Sadie goes to the bathroom to cry. Her tear, you know, cry. She's upset about something. And while she's in the bathroom crying, she meets Reagan in the stall. And what happened? Reagan... Um, chairs her up, and so she, when Reagan realizes who's it, who it is, she gives Reagan a necklace, and she's like, "Oh, I got a necklace! This is awesome." Meanwhile, Kara has a disagreement with uh, Camille um, about business stuff, and then later on, we see um, in that same bathroom, Camille gets dealt with. Bam, 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 bam. Look like she almost got killed. Somebody tore her up like real bad so after that happened right now we take us to the boat we get to the boat everything seems cool come to find out what a coincidence reagan works on this same boat now the boat crew consists of reagan her love interest i think his name was kyle and the captain and they're entertaining it's a pop star the same pop star that was Pop star, movie star, whatever she's... Same pop star that was in the club. Same one that gave her the necklace. But then something happens. The pop star Sadie goes overboard. She went overboard. It's an accident. What's going on here? Somebody rocked the boat. What happened? We don't know. Bill, the this, um, bodyguard, is pissed off and he's having a fit... He's blame, blaming Robbie because that was the last one seen with her. Bill, by the way, was seasick, so he feels guilty because earlier he got some medication from uh, Reagan for his seasickness, and he was not there to protect. Okay? He was not there to protect Sadie. Meanwhile, Cara's acting strange, and she just want to make sure we get all this together, and make sure you know her story's told right because this is going to look bad on us, this, that, and the third. And so... She cut and she gets in the captain's ear. The captain gives the wrong coordinates or whatever. Now they're like, we're going to go. We're not going to go back to L.A. We're going to go over here to uh, Sadie's home and handle something. She was trying to just make some distractions. Meanwhile, as that's happening, Bill finds out that he finds 
Sadie Sadie's necklace in the possession of Reagan and confronts Hunt. He's like, you stole this? And she's like, nah, I didn't steal that. I'm trying to tell you she gave this to me. He said, oh, she just so happened, a pop star just so happened to give you her damn necklace at a club. You want me to believe that? I wouldn't have believed that either. So that made sense. I understood that. I wouldn't have believed that either. So that happened. And then um, poor Reagan gets fired by the captain. And she's like, wait a minute, this is craziness. But she overhears Robbie and Chris talking first. And she finds out that they're secret lovers. Oh, yes, they are. And that's when we find out that Kara is um, Chris's mother. But she's also manages both Robbie and Chris. So we find out they're secret lovers. And we find out there's some, um, what do you call it? diary or something a journal then say you know sadie never leaves without her journal so then reagan goes and gets the journal and that's when reagan puts two and two together and realizes that woman that got attacked on the she's supposed to be on this boat her name i see her in the journal and she calls the hospital because it come to find out camille is alive so she said when she wakes up y'all have y'all please call me that's what she said meanwhile poor bill they find him dead he and he was Hot, he was pissed off. He was accusing Robbie of stuff, choked up Robbie and all that. But he did, it wasn't, he, uh, you know, he thought it was Robbie that didn't. He couldn't wait to get off that boat. But guess what? He ain't get off the boat because they found him dead. And automatically, I was like, I know who the killer is. I already knew right then and there who the killer was. Meanwhile, then we see Chris. And his mom, Kara, having a conversation. And she's pretty much telling him, listen, son, we got to throw Robbie under the bus. His career is going to tank. We gonna, they're going to blame him for the murder of this America's sweetheart. And he's done. So we might as well sell him out. But Chris said, no, 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 no. Hell no. Because he said he's in love. He said, I'm not. She said, you ain't in love. This is, he's just, he's Mr. Right now. He said, no, this is it. I'm in love. I'm not doing it. So now like a dummy, this is what happens in these movies. The people always confront the killer, which is dumb. Robbie decides he's going to step the car and be like, yo, I heard you trying to throw me under the bus and make me take the blame for the, un the, the, the passing of um, Sadie. And I'm not doing it. That's what he pretty much said. He said, matter of fact, I'm going to ruin you. And, you know, when they start doing all that talking, I knew I said, here we go. I knew it was going to happen. And she's steady talking. She in the kitchen. She grabbed that knife. <coughs> You won't be telling nothing up in here. Cut him, stabbed him, killed him. He laying down there dead. Here come Chris coming in. Have you seen Robbie? No, honey. She's washing her hands, washing the blood. No, honey, I have not. I have not. Meanwhile, Sadie gets a call from the hospital. Kara, um, Camille has waken up. Is has been. Ah. Camille woke up and she wrote something and they're we're like, what did she write? By this time, I already knew. I kind of figured out that this lady was the killer, just the way she was moving. So it was a little predictable, but I was still entertained. So now she wants to play superstar, super detective or whatever. And she decides to confront. Um, she's going to go and confront Kara herself, which makes no sense. Why do you do stuff like this? So as that's happening, right, here we go. Chris decides, because she told him, Chris, go take a walk, go find Robbie. But now Chris runs into Reagan. So him and Reagan go back in the house. And she's like, what is she doing here? And she's like, you did this and did, 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 did. Just tell, you know, confront her. And as she says that, guess what happens? Kara yoked her up, was choking her. And then Chris is like, mom, stop it, stop. He gets her off a little bit. Then she goes back to attacking him again. And then... That's when they fall back, they fall back, and that's when Chris sees Robbie's body. And then, conveniently, here come the cops right on time. Kara has been taken away. Very, I knew she was the killer, though. And then we fast forward to the next season, and it looks like Reagan has become a sea sheriff, or whatever you call that. She, she patrols the, the waters and inspector, and... Her um, boyfriend, I think he was her boyfriend, Kyle, he's the new captain because the captain got fired for giving the wrong coordinates. And that's how the movie ended. I enjoyed it. It moved slow in some places, but it was very predictable for me. It had a lot, it was a little predictable, but I still enjoyed it. That's it. That's today's 2B Tuesday movie. 
Thank you for watching. If you've seen that movie, tell me your thoughts on it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.